searching for answers and he himself can't find them. He doesn't look like Tom Brady. What are you seeing as you watch what's going on? I, I see a lack of, a little bit of lack of confidence in the team around him. You know, you haven't seen Tom have the moments that he's had this season. Of course, there's bursts that you've seen in the past, but this is repeatedly, you know, in front of the linemen. We, we can do better than this. We are not playing up to our standards. Um, the pressure that he's been taking, the drop passes, you know, you, you saw a wide open drop pass on a perfectly thrown deep ball by mm -hmm. Evans. That is rare. So, you know, when you see all these things adding up, it, it's, it's troubling because at this point right now, you know, we looked at the Tampa Bay Bucks last season when they were one pass away basically from getting to a Super Bowl mm -hmm. and thought, well, if Tom Brady comes back, this team is going to be in it to the end. And at this point, they're not even close. They're not close. Well, so what's changed? The head coach? I mean, it, was Bruce Arians that much of a motivator to, to have pushed the team in the right directions when, when time, the times were tough? But at this point, you can't just look at Tom and think that he's the guy that's going to solve every issue that this team has. You have a bunch of health issues. You have key players that are out. That's hard to overcome. And then on top of that, you have new coaching style in place as a head coach. And Tom is 45 years old. So I, I look at it and sometimes it's, it's upsetting a little bit to see Tom in this position because yeah. he had an opportunity to just kind of walk off. And, if, and after last year's playoff game, I don't think anyone would have debated, you know, Tom Brady looking the way he looked. He could have played another year. Of course he could have. But at this point, you wonder if he regrets putting himself back in this position because now everybody is talking about Tom Brady, the player, and how he doesn't look the same. But I still think he's playing at a high level. Yeah, I, I think the, the alarming thing about the Bucks right now is like, like you say, well, is it a must? Like, is it important? Is must-win game? And mathematically, they don't need the game, right? Because they're still tied for first place at three yeah. and four with the Falcons, and the division looks weak. Psychologically, though, I, I wonder if they do need the game because. That quote yeah. from Mike Evans last week about how he saw the light go out of the team after he dropped that ball, like that was really alarming to me. It's October. It's a game against the Panthers, and it's the first quarter, and the light went out? Like, what? Th this is not – that tells me there's something going on here that, that, that just isn't right with the team. Um, this was supposed to be the edge Tom Brady gave them, this psychological, like, we can overcome stuff. We can be – so whatever it is, whether it's change of head coach, whether it's the fact that, you know, Brady has – as, as he himself said, a lot of stuff going on, right? The fact that he retired and came back. Something is definitely off. So it feels like an important game for them from a psychological standpoint, even if it's not essential in terms of the standing. And I think that, that's the thing I keep getting stuck on with this year's book. Do you feel, because there are some who will say, because it's Tom Brady, because we recognize so many of the names on the backs of the jerseys of this team, and we saw them win a Super Bowl as recently as whatever that is now, 19 months ago, there are some who say, oh, they'll turn it around. Do you feel like this is about to get better? Not tonight. I, I don't see it getting no. better tonight against the Ravens on a short week, and you're trying to overcome some of these obstacles. You saw how many guys are out in this matchup yep. with injuries. There's just a lot of injuries. They've been dealing with injuries since week one. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really tough to deal with. So I, I don't see it. I don't see it working. You think it's going to get better? Is this team going to get it together this year? I don't see the chemistry there of those guys saying, we can do it. We, as a team, I, I feel like they're struggling with that, with that team dynamic. And it, you can see it in the chemistry when you watch – the team on the sideline, when you watch the defense, you know, this defense was supposed to be lights out. Yeah. yeah. Defense is struggling. It's so terrible. It's, so, so it's, 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 a, it's a troubling thing to watch when you see that the team is lacking the chemistry when before the season, we all, oh, it's the same names. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, at, at the same time, you know, the situations of these players have changed dramatically in two years. I think, you know, in this year's NFC and in this year's NFC South, like, they can be a playoff team, right? Like, they can – there's seven playoff teams in each conference. Not all seven of them are special. Right. And, and, and whatever was special about this team doesn't – it feels like they're not if, – if they're going to get it, they don't have it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, the last couple of years, they felt special. They felt scary. They felt like they could beat anybody on any given week. And, and you don't get that sense from them now. And, and I would say quickly that – Thanksgiving really is the spot in the season where 
you can get things moving in the right direction, and after Thanksgiving, you can go on a run. Right. I've seen it in the past. Teams with that them. have struggled with them. Two years ago, exactly. right? Exactly. Like right around that so time. So there still is time, but the, the, the lack of, I guess, accountability from the offensive line, and you've lost some key pieces with and, – and again – in football, you only need to lose one guy. Mm -hmm. And maybe the guy was Jensen. Jensen. Maybe yeah, that center. guy was just the yeah. center because he kind of kept the, the guys, maybe, maybe after practice, maybe in the meeting rooms, there was better communication and better chemistry with one guy. And it's, it's crazy to say, but it, it happens every single year. You see teams that lose just one guy, and it can affect more than, than just the position group. It affects everybody. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.